unfortunate event of having to find my father had passed away and I had to go into the room and I went through all these feelings and it's been almost two years but it didn't take me that long to write this but this is basically stem from the, uh, the poem. It's called Morning of Morning. Lifelong physical injuries. <laughs> hockey culture. I like the game called hockey. Hockey culture. My favorite part is watching the Zamboni. <laughs> yes, Don Cherry may then come to his senses. You know, I actually saw the full length two way mirror on the wall in a special toilet stall in a bathroom in Maple Leaf Gardens. What the hell was that all about? Spying on and targeting young women? Or was that one for the children? Oh, Don will say, that was the past. Hockey culture ain't like that anymore. Oh yeah? Prove it. If we still have the likes of you, Don Cherry, spouting and puffing, I have to wonder. <laughs> I never have been, never was, not am, and never will be impressed with hockey culture. I don't like beer gutted, beer burping, violent, unfit specimens of men who think they are athletes. When it comes to ice and skates, I like the speed skater. Now there is an athlete. Look at that form and muscle control. Plus, you can actually see their lovely godlike bodies. <laughs> I prefer figure skaters. Now there again is an athlete and great outfits to look at. Those sequins. <laughs> hockey culture. I couldn't stand them at the neighborhood hockey rink when I was a kid. Always in my way while I was trying to skate. Which, by the way, I was much better than them at as I had to constantly skate around them while all the while having to avoid the shoves and the trips while also dodging the puck and jumping over hockey sticks and having to listen them scream, get off the ice! <laughs> oh, was that me you were screaming at? I always wondered, who were they screaming at? 
We didn't have a TV at that point. I had never seen a hockey game. And back then, skating shack rules were not posted, nor were the schedules. Oh, I can see why you mistakenly thought I was a hockey groupie. Far from it. <laughs> I had no idea. I had skates, there was ice. I would have been a great referee. Now there must be a coveted job. I am not your bounty. Excerpt. Bosnian women say tomato, Canadian women say tomato. Anna Maria Tremonti on CBC The Current aired an interview with two Bosnian women 20 years after they kept their children. In the subterranean pimp run ghetto hockey culture in Canada, there actually are women who have had the same experience as these women in Bosnia. The only thing missing was the declared war and violence. Canadian ghetto hockey women simply getting drunk and having been convinced they are goddesses of some kind. It takes a lot of booze, drugs, and conning to keep them convinced. They actually don't mind they have no idea who the fathers of their children are. Nazis were the same. And in Canada, this has been going on for generations, from the very top to the very bottom, with parents feeling blessed they had a daughter they could offer up for this enterprise, made having a daughter worthwhile. However, you know, there could be trouble soon on the horizon with all the gay rights. I now fear boys, especially with that two-way mirror that was in Maple Leaf Gardens, will be chosen over girls to perhaps be pool boys and the like. Well, at least the boys will have to be conscious. I hope there's another side to this story. Ladies? <laughs> I'll bet they don't offer this little gem about Canadian culture in the handout package at the immigration <laughs> office. I'm an immigrant. They never told me. I became a Canadian citizen. They still didn't tell me. I imagine the great Canadian Don Cherry's comment to that would be, well, that's because it's a secret. Yes, Dawn, we know it's a secret, but it's no secret that it would be the only way someone like you would be able to get laid, now wouldn't it? <laughs> You're ugly enough. So what's the problem, Dawn? Scared the women might see the size of your hockey stick? <laughs> Attention, newly arrived female immigrants in Canada. The horror you may have experienced in your war-torn homeland is actually viewed as a team sport in Canada. The good thing is that you would be made unconscious during the attack. The violence only occurs after the fact, should you ever question or wonder about what happened to you. Oh, I can already see Dawn Sherry spouting. That woman has to be shut up. How typical of your culture now, isn't it? When you have found, when you have been found out or something is too complex for you and the woman calls on you for the response and then your response is to shut her up. Oh, I dare say you'd just love to take a swing at me now, wouldn't you? It might be a little too complicated for you. Careful. I'm not the woman in white and nor am I the woman in black and red. Go ahead, run to your beer, Burpsy Dawn. Could you drink a little more, faster, pass out as fast as you can so we don't have to listen to you? Seeing you passed out without having to listen and just be able to gaze at your colorful attire would be so much more interesting. I like the pink jacket. It's going to make a nice cushion for my couch. I promise I won't rifle through your pockets when you're unconscious. So, Don Cherry, care to tell the audience why this woman has to be shut up? We are all listening. 